Welcome to the third episode of my guide, and this may be one of the more anticipated guides. The Infested Dungeon places a strange twist on familiar enemies that you saw in the Overgrown Gatehouse. In my first ever run, this is where it ended. As such, I'll give some pointers to help you surpass the area with less strife. The arrow traps still exist, and are harder to see in this dungeon, so be careful for those. While technically an enemy, the Wall Boomers fall under a trap more so than an enemy. They typically sit high up on walls where the torches sit and explode when you walk close to them. They're fairly quiet, so be sure to check around corners for them. To defuse the Wall Boomers, hit them with your throwing knife or crossbow bolt to explode them from a safe distance. Cautious is king when dealing with traps. With regard to the enemies, in the infested dungeon, remember as a rule of thumb that these enemies have a poison cloud on death that can damage the player. Keeping these enemies at a distance is a priority. While this doesn't apply to every enemy, keeping a rule of sword's length is typically a good idea. With that, let's get into the specifics. As a reskin of the bats in the first dungeon, I find the red bats to be a bit stealthier, but are dealt with in the same easy way. Possessed axes are bats that can resist a throwing knife hit, but are way less stealthy and dies nearly instantly to a melee attack. The main key is to pay attention and strike them vertically where they're easier to hit. Boom Shrooms are possibly the least threatening enemy in the game. It's a short range area denial plant enemy that has almost zero threat if you stand more than a few steps away. The range is very short and the fact that it has 2 HP means that almost anything kills it, including a reflection of its own projectile. Also, it's a mushroom and can't move. Simply time around the 2 to 3 shot burst of lingering damage, hit it once, and it will perish. Infested Whites are fairly tough cookies. With their high HP pool and aggressive area denial dashes, the best course of action is to stand your ground. Use your ranged weapon to deal damage as it wanders slowly towards you, then ready your sword when it raises its hands to dash. Additionally, you can react and sidestep to avoid the dash rather than blocking it with a sword hit. After you fell an infested white, be careful. The corpse will swell up and explode into a cloud of lingering damage. Avoid this and step back. Infested slimes are quite literally the slimes you know and love with a small poof of lingering damage. Don't walk through it and you'll be fine. Their brothers, the bullet slimes, are much more difficult to deal with in numbers than their non-projectile counterparts. The lob projectile has a wide radius on blast and due to being lobbed is a little bit more difficult to deflect. Getting trapped in a corner almost assures a hit if they shoot a projectile and bounce at you in a corner. Holding your ground with options to retreat or move defeats these slimes handedly. Infested mother slimes, more commonly referred to as big slimes, are similar to their counterparts in the fact that the threat is in the two slimes it spawns after death. Getting a bullet slime to spawn can lead to a fast shot and a frustrating bit of damage. Pushing them into the void can bypass this, but there must be a void present for you to push it into for this trick to work. Maggots would get a higher difficulty rating if not for the very loud noises that give away their position. Again, similar to bats, the threat is in the fact that you don't notice them. There is a variation of the maggot that is an exploding maggot that should be dealt with from a distance. You can tell this maggot apart by the fact that it looks like it is on fire. Finally, this leads us to the boss of the area, the Doom Shroom. This boss exemplifies the area denial poison attacks that fill this floor of the dungeon. While it is possible to stand in his face and just beat him up, while taking a bit of damage of course, the safe route that I recommend for beginners or for those looking to take no damage is to play it safe, strafing the attacks at a distance, using the throwing knife for damage and the sword to reflect its projectiles. Using these strategies should lead to an easy defeat of the Doom Shroom. And that's it for the Ancient Dungeon. Hopefully, this guide will help you get through the second floor of the Ancient Dungeon. With that being said, if you enjoyed the video, don't be afraid to like and subscribe. The subscription is free, it doesn't cost you anything, and if you ever feel like you want to unsubscribe, you can do it at any time. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you for watching.